the last thing you want to do is end up in a relationship with somebody for two, three, maybe even four years, and then wake up one day and realize, oh my God, this person ain't for me. <sighs> Look at what's going on with Kanye and Kim Kardashian, right? It's a big mess. <laughs> it's a, 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 a big display of what a man should never do. And the reason is this. That man knew who she was when he met her. Everybody knew who she was. And if you think about their past, you think about the stuff that they went through. What was one of the main things that Kanye hated about being with Kim Kardashian? Paparazzi. Being on Front Street. He can't go out on a date with his wife without somebody wanting to take pictures of him. Remember he walked into that sign that day and he wanted to beat the uh, paparazzi person up. But then, you gotta, you gotta think to yourself, why did he get with her if he knew that that was gonna be a problem for him? Because he thought he could change something about it. He thought he could do something about it. He could stop that. Not realizing that the only reason this woman is famous is because of her attention. The attention that she get from the paparazzi and the tabloids and gossip sites and stuff like that. So if he didn't want to end up being in the mix of all that, he shouldn't have had no business being with her. Now, he got a problem with Kim Kardashian doing what she do and allowing her kids to be involved with what she does. Now he got a problem with, her, with his daughter being on TikTok. Now, I got a daughter, and I don't want my child on TikTok at an early age like that. Looking like a grown woman and all that kind of stuff, wearing makeup and stuff like that. I don't even like makeup. So, I definitely don't want to see my daughter on, on TikTok wearing a face full of makeup like a grown woman. But, he knew who that woman was and what she did and what type of stuff was going on in her life before he got with her. That's the problem a lot of us make. We meet somebody, fall in love with the idea of being with them, and then we just forget about what's going to actually actually be compatible with who we are. Then when you get when you get tired of it or the relationship goes sour, now all of a sudden it's a problem. Whose fault is it if you allow that to happen? Whose fault is it if you ignore? All of that stuff that you know you can't deal with. You know you can't deal with it. You know you don't like how this man moves. You know you don't like how this woman moves. But you think just because you can make them fall in. You think if you can make them fall in love with you that they'll change. If you can't take a person how they are when you first meet them. You don't got no business being with them. You set yourself up for failure and you end up wasting somebody's time and your own in the long run when you do that. I know things like, for me for instance, when I was dating in the past, I know that I don't like makeup. I start, I met this girl, didn't know that she wore makeup like that when I first met her. Then I end up finding out early on that she loved makeup. Every day she leave the house, she gotta have a full face of makeup on. I don't like makeup. And it ain't about me trying to control somebody. Matter of fact, I don't want to control you. I don't want you to change nothing about you. But because I know that you love makeup, I'm not going to ask you to give that up for me. I'm going to do me and you a favor, and I'm going to allow you to be with somebody that doesn't mind makeup so you can continue to wear your makeup and feel good about yourself, and you can be in a relationship that's more suited for you. I remember one time I picked this girl up to go on a date. We finna go out to dinner. She come out the door with some super short shorts on. They super tight. You can see her butt cheeks. She got on this like half shirt with her breast propped up, pushed up. She got a tattoo on her, on her breast. <laughs> I had never saw a dress like that before. But when I see we finna go out to dinner, my plan is to go to somewhere nice. And you come out dressed like that? Then I start seeing, oh, okay, this is a 
look at a social media, oh, this is a recurring thing. This is what you like to do. This is when you get dressed up to go somewhere, this is how you dress. You're comfortable dressed like that. I'm not comfortable being with you while you dress like that. So that just mean that me and you need to go and cut ties right now. And it ain't like I'm mad, I ain't mad at you. I just want you to be yourself. And I want you to be with somebody that will allow you to be yourself. I'm gonna do both of us a favor and I'm gonna go ahead and make the executive decision to end this right now. There are certain things that are non-negotiable for people. Everybody gotta have their non-negotiables. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh lower those standards or you shouldn't overlook those non-negotiables just because you see somebody and they might be cute or you see somebody and they might be real sexy because as soon as you get used to that person as soon as you get used to seeing them and they ain't so sexy no more because you done seen what they look like when they get out of bed or maybe they gain a few pounds over the years and they ain't as sexy to you as they used to be it's gonna be way more easier for you to focus in on that one thing that you, you overlooked in the beginning now all of a sudden it bug you because you were so enamored with the the uh the outer appearance or maybe they was funny or something like that it was something about them that made you say man i'm gonna overlook this thing i'm gonna overlook this i, I got i got five non-negotiables he got about two or three of them but i'm gonna overlook him because he got this one quality that i really like about him then as time goes by that phase that thing that you really like about them phase and now you focused on those two or three things that you can't stand about them find people that are what you want them to be when you first meet them give people the courtesy of allowing them the grace to be who they are when they're with you Everybody need to be honest and save a lot of time in relationships. You need to be being yourself. A lot of people want to put on this front and act like this perfect creature when we first meet somebody because we want them to like you. We want them to like us. What you need to be doing is letting them see who you really are as soon as possible so they can make up their mind if they can deal with it or not. And it don't take long to figure things out. Soon as you soon as you see who a person is, believe them. You know the, the saying, when a person shows you who they are, believe them. You gotta also accept them for who they are too. Stop trying to change people. Stop sitting around here wishing on the star and, and, and trying to get somebody to change their personality for you. Cause on the flip side of things, just imagine somebody tried to change you into, into being somebody that you don't really want to be. Maybe you like yourself. You like who you are. Then somebody come to you and they just because they decide, oh, you the one. Now, all of a sudden, the thing that you used to like to do with your girlfriends, you know, you used to like to go to brunch. Y'all got a, a tradition every Sunday. Y'all go to brunch together and have a girl's day. I don't want you to do that no more. You know how you like to wear your hair? And, and you like to wear those bundles I don't like them They shed they all, the, the hair is all over the bathroom I don't want you to do that no more No Because when that person Gives those things up for you if you're, uh, uh, if you're successful In getting those people To give that stuff up for you They ain't going to be happy So they're going to always be looking for the next best Next best thing Somebody that they can be themselves with Then you end up with your heart broke because you decided you wanted to change somebody. Take people, take people as they are. You know how they tell you in church, come as you are. You need to treat your life, your love life the same way. Come as you are. I want you to show, I want you to be comfortable being yourself around me. Matter of fact, when we when we first had them first initial conversations on the phone, I'm gonna let you know. This is how y'all need to be. This is how y'all need to let, let people know when y'all first talking to somebody. Hey, I want you to be yourself. I don't want to get to know the, the person that you're portraying. What do you really like? Who are you really? I don't want to do all the games. Let's not play. <laughs> it's, 
say you're alone, life of trouble. There's too many people in relationships with people and they're miserable because they, they try to get somebody to change. My wife liked to travel. She loves to travel, actually. If I'm somebody that's a homebody and I don't know want to go nowhere, that's going to end up being a problem. Because I could give her permission. Why don't you go, go on a trip with your friends? What if she ain't going to want to go with her friends all the time. At some point, she's going to want her man to be there. So if I deny that from her, she's not going to be happy with me. She's going to be looking at people on Instagram as they travel with they they uh significant others. You, you know, TikTok is full of vacations. You know, all these these exotic places. People always post where they go. And I love seeing those kind of videos because it's good to see what's out there in the world. But my wife would be sitting around here looking at these women going these these vacations with their, their husbands and their boyfriends. And she'll always be sitting there like, Ugh, I wish I can get this boy to go somewhere. Then eventually it's going to turn from wishing that I go somewhere to being angry because she can't go nowhere because her husband don't want to never go nowhere. Make sure you're with people that have the qualities that you want. Don't settle. Everybody got to have a list of wants and needs for their spouse. But you also got to have a set of non-negotiables. Figure out what you can't live without. And if a person ain't willing to give you those things, naturally, just because that's what they do, that's who they are, they're open-minded and they're, they, they want to try new things. If you like to try new things and the person you with don't like to try new things, it's going to be a boring life for you. And you need to understand that. But that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all in the next one.